будемо починати. Dear colleagues, we continue our working day and I will speak about uh, Congress of Act Culture Activist 2015. I will uh, 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 Congress of Activist Congress of Design Coordinator of Creative uh, Industries Directions. Vinny Malar, Art and Creative Coordinator of the Alternative Education Direction, Roman Pomazan, Architect Urbanist, Coordinator of the City Development Direction, Ludina Chai, Artist Coordinator of the Art Mobility Direction, Katrina Rai, Curator, Specialist in Contemporary Ukrainian Art. Visual uh, Space uh, Program Coordinator, please, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Those, um, my, I'm Olena Prelut. I'm a manager of the project Congress of Activist, Culture Activist 2015. And on the 28th and 29th uh, of uh, June in uh, Atlas Club of the World Congress of uh, Culture Activists. Why have we selected uh, that uh, space, that ground? Because we decided that it's necessary to do an intervention into those uh, places where it is not expected to, to have any event of such a uh, format. Uh, when you have to think about what we have and uh, what uh, can be changed and how to move on. and. Uh, we invite different activists, uh, people who do social projects and to, in, to put the ideas into life. Culture. Congress of Culture Activists, uh, our goal is to build a trust and uh, cooperation between the activists and uh, between different fields and culture and other uh, industries like IT, healthcare, science, uh, economy, so on. We want. Uh, uh, we stand uh, for interdisciplinary co cooperation. I would like to introduce uh, the idea of the program for this year. This year, we'll speak about general topics like international diplomacy and uh, development culture opportunities, uh, cooperation of uh, managers, and more specialized uh, formats. We'll have different uh, groups like alternative education, creative industries, also development, city development, and uh, art mobility. We'll have more than uh, 20 cities of Ukraine represented, and we plan uh, to have about uh, 50 projects, and now we have uh, 200 uh, registered, and we expect uh, that guests will arrive also, and speakers who will, uh, who will share the experience and uh, what they did, what they have in the field of activism and uh, of changing Ukraine and Ukrainian life into with the help of culture. I'd like to give the floor to Natalia, the coordinator of the directions, and uh, and uh, they will give you more details about uh, what expects you. I'll give you a floor to Evgenia Moller, who is uh, who will work on uh, alternative education. Evgenia Moller, I'm a co co curator or no, coordinator of the project Alternative Education. We plan to create ground for col collaboration of alternative education people and uh, traditional institutions and uh, representatives of the uh, Ministry of Education to identify problems in education, in the higher education and especially in the uh, culture. In culture, during the last years, uh, we have uh, different uh, education projects, uh, culture, uh, culture institutions um, add to the profile activity uh, or set up organizations uh, that are working on alternative education and a lot of people participate in that and at the same time we observe that traditional education system is uh, quite uh, unmobile and it's very difficult to direct to those changes in the world and in society that are taking place here quickly and that include important uh, trends. That's why we're planning to have that meeting for representatives of different approaches in modern education to be able to cooperate and to support each other. For education in Ukraine, in, in the field of culture, to be modern, contemporary, flexible, and then to meet all the requirements of, the, of time, because we plan to invite representatives from the Ministry of Education, all our 
what experience what we have during uh, what we do all our products in those during those uh, two days uh, Ministry of Education can use that well, that's our uh, belief thank you even you touched one more global issue uh, problem we, we wanted to, to discuss a cooperation between uh, business civic uh, because NGO and the state bodies and government and uh, public uh, service. I would like to give the floor to uh, also Yaroslav Belinsky, who is uh, Creative Industries uh, Direction uh, Monitor or head. Maybe it will seem uh, so strange to someone that at uh, the Congress of Activists of Culture we decided to, to set up a panel of own creative industries because we believe that uh, creative industries and creative economy can uh, influence strongly and uh, inhale the second uh, breath, give the second breath to that situation we have in Ukraine. And uh, to improve the situation there, because experience of European countries is brightly shows that a creative sector can have big influence on the development of all the rest of um, activities, and that's why uh, to the Congress. Well, uh, in the Congress, we in our panel we have a representative from a restaurant business, gallery business, IT people, uh, industrial design people, and uh, from music sector, and many others. Thank you. Then I give the floor to. Romano Pomazan, who is the coordinator of uh, city development. His main activity is related to, to um, develop city development, uh, to urban development. Roman Pomazan, I'm an urbanist, and uh, and I run the development of city, city development at the Congress of this year. City development is focused on uh, on small towns and uh, projects in, in towns and uh, on uh, low initiatives uh, that are developing in those uh, towns so that's why we invited a big number of uh, projects uh, from those uh, towns and we'll try to bring them together those uh, projects into one strategy and uh, we'll try to involve other Directions of the Congress are like uh, art mobility and alternative education and uh, creative industries that can become a key factors of uh, development of small cities or towns. What else? We invited uh, foreign uh, panelists from the US, Germany and Latvia. In any case, we will, we will be in touch with them through uh, Skype, or maybe they will reach Ukraine. We'll have some several workshops, small ones, during the Congress to try networking and uh, to bring uh, to know other directions uh, together with the urbanistic center U urbanist uh, urban uh, initiatives and uh, city development projects who are among invitees who are among the guest uh, speakers couple of names our guests uh, from Marcus Oltel and Evan Pahil they confir confirmed they are from Dresden they are coming Institute of Odessa City and the Department of Development of Lviv. A group of critical thinking from Kharkiv. Then several initiatives from Slavutic, from Smila, from Periaslav. Very interesting project will be from Berdichev. And one uh, key, uh, key, key speaker, Debbie Deb Davis uh, from New York, and uh, she will speak about culture clusters um, creation. 
as a center of uh, to change uh, cities and uh, which starts uh, from culture. So develop, city development of uh, the sections and uh, is focused on uh, changes uh, through culture. Thank you, Roman. Now I'd like to give the floor to Lidmila Nechai, who is uh, responsible for art mobility. That's uh, her idea. Maybe Lidmila will tell us why it is important. Well, of course, I will tell you why. Why this year we decided to have um, art mobility a separate um, direction of Congress. First of all, it became important during events which recently covered Ukraine. It's a global global uh, activism of uh, artists, and uh, they are looking forward uh, for changes. They integrate it to an uh, international uh, process, and they're trying to build uh, bridges with foreign institutions. They just to show their position and their values, and how art becomes a part of uh, international process. That encourages us uh, to develop that institute of mobility, which uh, in Europe is called to responsible culture diplomacy, which is the best way to achieve peaceful development and growth of, con of countries. If in Western Europe, art mobility is uh, considered as the way to achieve uh, hospitality and uh, neighborhood, uh, good neighborhood, uh, the experience we received uh, in winter school in uh, Baltic Republic, so we saw that art mobility, those countries that lost uh, some industry, they hold back uh, the outflow of intellectual part of, uh, from the country, and uh, we have such a problem in Ukraine, that's why we believe that uh, this direction is very important, and uh, uh, all the people uh, responded to this, and uh, starting with uh, Ivano Frankivsk, Lviv, Ternopil, Sume, Poltava, Odessa, Kharkiv, Dnipropetrovsk, Artemivsk, if I am not wrong. So we cover all Ukraine. It's a pleasure that are not only institutions uh, that deal with culture programs, and uh, not only artists uh, get involved, but also those who donate, who support, and uh, they would like uh, uh, Ukraine to position itself uh, to abroad. Uh, Arts Foundation, they will, uh, that's, um, will support art mobility. Our uh, trans artists, there is an organization of uh, Dutch culture, Dutch culture organization. They uh, take care of cultural development uh, in all over the world, and when they found out about our situation, when they started it, uh, they were ready to to give workshops that uh, could help um, artists and uh, and galleries uh, to use the information they have. On the information resource, uh, they collect information about and uh, opportunities from all the all, all over the world. Since they responded to become uh, become that organization that can join the, uh, become their partner center during the international uh, process. Maybe we'll, they, not come to, they will not come to our Congress because uh, we didn't find money to, to bring them. But we'll communicate on Skype and uh, we'll invite them for them to give workshops uh, for our organizations. Thank you, Ludmila. And because uh, Ludmila mentioned culture the more diplomacy, I would like to say that Congress became possible because of the support of uh, Representative Henry Bell Stiftung, and they provided a small grant for us. And uh, now we can bring uh, these people from different regions, and we can cover the travel cost, and the project will uh, develop. We will have more opportunities, we hope to do more and to move more and uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and in their stated focus as uh, culture democracy they also expressed uh, their support and now they help us uh, to build contacts uh, with other countries and uh, with offices of other countries in Ukraine and that makes us very happy because opportunities for art mobility 
just um, grow on different levels and include on the level between interstate level. And we speak about uh, about uh, how to decorate our space, about art, and how uh, we interact in this sense. I'd like to give the floor to Katarina Rai, who is uh, uh, responsible for uh, modern art in the Congress, and uh, she creates uh, uh, unusual space uh, for the Congress. My name is Katarina Raim. I am a creator and I'm responsible for visual part of the Congress of Culture Activists. This year we have chosen namely a Coop Atlas as a venue for the Congress. It is situated at Artema Street. This place has recommended itself as an entertainment space. They've granted us with premises to have Congress because it may invite much more people than we had previous year and the premises itself allows carrying out workshops and different separate, uh, separate round tables if to compare to the previous year this time we really did a step forward and this year, we invited modern Ukrainian artists to join the creation of space. That would be Alexei Sai and Georgi Savito, who will represent their works. Georgi Savito will present new media installation. He is creating for the Congress. And to arrange the space, we have invited InLab Architectural Agency who decided to arrange the space uh, using the objects uh, created of cardboard. That is something unique you will see at the Congress, and we hope that you will like the arrangement, the Congress in general, and we believe the Congress to be very convenient and uh, important platform for Ukrainian artists, for world artists, and it is open this year even in a broader sense in this sphere. Thank you so much, and you're welcome. Thank you, Katarina. <clears throat> I would like to add that um, Culture Activists Congress is an important um, event for analysts working in this sphere, but let's not forget that we all work with the culture, with creativity, with creative people, and we have, so to say, a surprise. We may not reveal it, but it will be a special program inviting artists who were forced to become managers and we'll reveal this topic uh, how to combine managerial activities and art from our point of view it would be of great interest thank you Evgenia and I would like to mention one important thing all the directions represented within the Congress um, is um, to show you what the Congress is engaged in so we are responsible for development of these ideas in culture in general. And all people who are here, if not the, the whole team, we would like to name several more people apart from this huge front of volunteers and people assisting us. We also are helped by an act actress Matilda Marina, Ella Stika, producer, who's engaged uh, in organizing arrivals, Mikola Marusik, activist and public uh, figure who supports through the academy, small academy of sciences. Uh, also, we are supported by Daria Prashkova Babic, who is present here. She's an architect and artist. Thank you, Natalia Matusevich, who joined us, uh, who is a f specialist in finances, according to education. So she came up from quite a different sphere. But we are glad that we see this intersectoral or interdepartmental cooperation. We are also supported by Mata uh, Pogorila, producer, who works a lot with children and is engaged in other projects. Uh, which uh, have to do with cinema, 
Олександра Халепа і всі інші архітекти, які приєднали наші ініціативи. Також ми маємо репрезентативи з інших країн, включаючи ті, які приєднали Дейбі Девіс, who has opened gallery in New York in an abandoned firehouse, and now she's opening gallery in Berlin, and she invited us to have a representative office of a Culture Activists Congress, and we'll have this opportunity to present our project in Berlin, and we hope it will give rise to our joint product projects with USA and um, uh, Germany, and Mr. Bellier, who does a lot to develop this project abroad. William Hollister, uh, he is from Prague, Czech Republic, is ready to visit Ukraine on, on, at his expense, and Yaroslav wanted to add something. Yes, uh, if to speak about creative industries, we'll create a showroom. Representatives of Ukrainian industrial design will be presented there. This would be a vivid example that design can be an efficient lever of the creative industries to create to add to the value of the industry. Also, we'll have a panel discussion, a roundtable discussion as regards whether whether creative space is great hedges opened um, in all the big cities of Ukraine, whether they may become a positive point of changes while uh, um, having transitioned to more developed economy, whether it will stimulate uh, the creative economy in Ukraine, or maybe we just speak about some trend here and in several years it will die off. We'll have uh, a discussion on this situation and I hope that we'll find answers to our questions and we'll draw attention to creative industries. Thank you, Yaroslav. And I would also like to mention that we are supported by Goethe Institute, presentation office in Ukraine. And we'll bring guests from Dresden who will tell us about transformation of space from the USSR times till today, how the process of changes was going on also uh, will be represented by uh, super graphic specialist, also uh, Contore Pravola, our project with sisters before team in love architects uh, assisting Katerina in uh, how to say you will see this parametric architecture and um, we'll have these weird constructions made of cardboard that would be something new we invite you please visit the congress have a look at this also we have to mention that Georgi uh, Sagitov is implementing social media art project. There will be special uh, special picture which is changing depending on hashtags. You have to see that. Also, I would like to express my gratitude to Tabar Production, RTI, who are helping to highlight the art platform in mass media and maybe the greatest thanks to a Ukrainian Crisis Media Center for you for your highlighting these events and also a radio Promin platforma and again Ministry of Foreign Affairs we are asked why not the Ministry of Culture we are open for cooperation with all the institutions and we like uh, the fact that Ministry of Foreign Affairs is supporting the initiatives which are there. This is the best format for today. 
for the reality we have today and for the changing world. I believe if you have questions, it's uh, quite high time for questions, clarifications. Hello, my name is Leonid Pomarchak, Ukrainian Crisis Media Center. One small question. Tell us, please, if to compare to the previous year, to what extent the interest in the Congress grew and how did it influence the participants? Um, all projects registered. I have a subjective point of view. If you disagree, uh, you may add something. So please, you're welcome. The previous year, uh, we just um, were doing the first steps. We just met in the basement. We got acquainted and decided we had to do something jointly. And we wanted to have an, e an event to get acquainted with all the artists of Ukraine. We arranged everything in a month. We gathered together plenty of initiatives, activists, and this year, what is new for us? Activists are representing quite different directions, not uh, not only work with space uh, or some experimental spaces. Plenty of NGOs are attracted to the Congress. And we see uh, maybe higher a rate of professionals, of culture, activists, the initiatives have become stronger, they have developed, so we are developing and the whole cultural sphere is developing, no doubt. There are young people who are just interested in getting to know something new. There are young people who do a lot, but I think that we see bigger demand. That is my subjective thought. If to speak about difference, but there are plenty of participants who came up the previous year and they are planning to be engaged this year. Plus, we invite people from different spheres ecology, architecture, science, and they meet maybe previously the designer never met um, a theater figure. But now they are cooperating. Roman wanted to add something. Yes. I would like to add that uh, urban development will be represented by different institutional groups. Those would be namely institutes, namely institutions, groups developing strategic projects not just some one-time single projects. And our direction will be concentrated on strategic planning, long-term planning. So to say, for a long-term, long-term strategies, to put it clearly. And I would also like to add that Kyiv projects will be represented for example, Tyshenko Library and Kyiv Urban Fest. Their representatives will present their intentions as regards of further strategy of development of their project because they have just started their activities. Thank you, Roman. And, um, we have to mention that during this year there were plenty of initiatives and one of them culture 2025 which was studying or researching the problematics in the culture and they noticed uh, the uh, so to say closedness of the system there even is some competition but the congress would like to set these basics for cooperation to create some modules for initiatives. So we do not want to have some umbrella, to apply some umbrella rules to be unique. No, we noticed from the different sources, different strategic studies, which took place during this year, this closedness is based on lack of trust, lack of confidence, and confidence is related to not knowing. They do not know each other, they do not know initiatives, and this lack of knowledge uh, gives rise to conflicts. And now people, this year we'll try to pay attention to people getting acquainted, 
and maybe this project will be an annual event. I believe it will be a good platform for meeting new people, getting acquainted with new projects, and it will be enough to meet once a year, to have ties, to build confidence, and we hope that uh, meetings like this, congresses like this will take place the, um, during the next coming years and the Congress will be represented by the strong, powerful representatives of culture. We believe in influence of culture and positive development of civil society and the country in general. That is why I hope that all what we do voluntarily um, due to our own initiative it comes from our heart and it will give results in future. It will inspire not only the, um, the activists we have already attracted, but young people who will change the country. Do we have other questions? Yes, I have a small question, but I would like to mention that you're on the right way. Thank you for that. We lack such initiatives. Um, because this is a unifying initiative. While planning the next year, have you thought that it is worth to leave Kyiv? Because there are plenty of initiatives in Kyiv. Maybe you will be a guest of some city and you'll find some more problematic cities. Uh, you will give impulses uh, in that very city because the Ministry of Education uh, doesn't pay proper attention to such initiatives. So who, if not you? Thank you for your question. That is an interesting question. And it uh, gives floor to broader discussion because um, we, we emphasize that Congress is a tool for creation of uh, uh, different initiatives. We do not plan to go to regions. We may join regions in their initiatives. We may give them appropriate tools. We may have workshops somewhere to share our experience, to um, print some manuals, to show how it may be done in Ukraine and in other cities. But our main task is to activ activate uh, the local communities. And I will use an opportunity and tell you that we are going to research one more topic, that is generation and role of our generation, because this is a transit generation. As Evgenia mentioned, we have ideas as regards uh, to how cooperate in order to understand the heritage we have so far and to uh, enter the future with new ideas and implement our role. And uh, how to deal with the problems of um, um, abandoning the USSR ideas. And we are trying to include into our projects as well as partner projects uh, these ideas. And we have plenty of uh, uh, benchmarks. We are planning to be engaged in other spheres. We urge you to join us and to launch more projects in Ukraine. And as Evgenia mentioned, one of the main important uh, issues is participativeness of uh, citizens. When we speak about small towns, so the initiative must come from the communities. We may just help with expert thoughts, expert opinions, but they are not final when person creates um, he or she finds some new approaches locally. And we are trying to spread this practical knowledge um, which the experts in Ukraine have. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do we have further questions, clarifications? If no, we express our gratitude. Please come to us. Uh, tell us how the Congress um, whether the Congress was a success. And this would be uh, the end of this briefing. We expect it to 